From the number one station, this is a story about love. A love story. <laughs> I'm so happy. We are finally on holiday, which I'm so chuffed about because we've honestly had the craziest few months. After working nonstop in London, we then were in Copenhagen for Fashion Week and then we were back in London for a few days and then we headed straight to Milan for Fashion Week, Paris for Fashion Week, and then we were back to London just to repack for a few days and then we headed straight off to LA for the Versace show. So there has been so much traveling, which is so stressful and it really takes a lot of your energy. So we finally made it to Jamaica to have a holiday. So I'm excited to show you guys what I get up to and I don't think I'll get up to much, but I will fill you guys in as much as possible. Maybe I'll talk you through some hair routines while I'm on holiday, or some skincare routines, because a lot of you have um, requested that. Oh, I also did a Q&A on my Instagram and I'll be answering them on here, so I'll do that with you guys. So we'll just, we'll get up to something. I'm excited. Ah, oh, it just feels so much deserved. And we're gonna eat good food, because Caribbean food is honestly the best thing in the world jerk chicken, rice and peas, plantain, salads, oh, it's a dream. Okay, maybe we do a hair routine now, because my hair does need a wash. Okay, this is perfect because I have an outdoor shower here, so I can show you my hair care products from the conditioner and shampoo that I use. So the shampoo that I've been using recently, I've only used this twice, but it's Love Curl Shampoo and it's specifically for wavy hair and curly hair. It's been really nice. A lot of shampoos really dry my hair out. This has been pretty good. My hair's felt quite soft afterwards and it also doesn't weigh my, my hair down too much, which is really nice because some products really like stick in my hair and just don't make it feel very nice, so this is a shampoo. I don't put too much shampoo in because shampoo generally is quite drying, so I've just put like a little, a small handful. And crunching the hair is key to maintain those lovely tight curls. fun. Okay, now I'm going to wash out the shampoo and then I will show you which conditioner I will use next. Okay, now I've washed out the shampoo, I'm going to use the Love Curl conditioner from the same brand and it's in a tub, which I quite like because you can just get like a whole like spoonful. So I'm going to use like this much. I've got quite a lot of hair, so maybe I'm gonna use a little bit more. Conditioner, for me, is key to my hair feeling soft and nourished. Imagine washing your face and then not using a moisturizer afterwards. It's the same with your hair. You'll wash your hair with shampoo and then you're not using your moisturizer afterwards, so conditioner acts as a moisturizer. I'm going to leave the moisturiser in for about three to four minutes just to let it sink in and I have this awful hairbrush, um, I forgot to bring my hairbrush from London and I had to take this from the hotel and it's really really bad so I do not recommend finding a hairbrush like this but I'm just going to brush through the ends because I have some knots in my hair. It's up to you, if you feel like your hair needs a, a brush I'd recommend but I sometimes feel like my curls are more defined when I don't brush my hair. Okay, I've split my hair in two bits because it just makes it a little bit easier and there's less hair to brush through. Or you could break your hair up into four parts and that would be a little easier, but I don't have time for that right now. I want to get into the sun and sunbathe because I need a tan desperately. Okay, it's definitely been three minutes, so time to wash out the conditioner. 
by the way guys none of these products are an advert or advertising these are genuine products I've been using and Wonder Water you can get loads of different types but this is a new one and I'm trying to protect my hair color because um, in the sun my hair does tend to go a little bit lighter and I like my hair staying just one color and honestly Wonder Water it keeps oh. so you just leave it in for about a minute not long at all and you know that feeling of coming out of a hair salon and your hair is soft and it's shiny and it just feels like this texture that you just can't achieve at home I promise you this one gives you that feeling now I'm gonna use it all over I can already feel how silky my hair feels it's important to wash your face after washing your hair because the shampoo and conditioner can get on your face sometimes so you don't want to get that in your your skin so bash what's your um hair care routine my hair care routine is the same as sarah's <laughs> hair care routine because i didn't bring any hair shit you didn't no i didn't bring anything Okay, now that I've washed the Wonder Water out of my hair and I've washed my face, I'm done in the shower. And whilst my hair is still soaking wet, I'm going to use this hydrating cream by Oribe. It's called Super Shine Moisturising Cream. As you can see, I've used quite a lot of it and I've been through three tubes of these. I just love, love, love this serum. It's so nice. No, not re it's not really a serum, it's more cream. And... I'm gonna use that much. I'm gonna use it whilst my hair's wet because the wet hair locks in the creams way better than if it was dry or damp. And one more thing, once my hair dries, if I feel like it's too um, frizzy, I just spray over this Wild Dream coat. It's very hydrating and it just creates like a less frizzy curl. So I love using that. And then I'm just gonna put through the ends some hair oil and this is for hair and scalp, but I just, I'll only need to brush it through the ends here. And that is my hair care routine, and I'm gonna go and sit out in the sun. Ooh, should I give you guys a room tour of our room? But it's actually like a little hut, so I'll start from the outside and I'll take you in. So here we have the outside. And this is a really cute little dining area where we can hang out at night, benches. So as you walk in, we have the lovely bed and then bedside tables. I think this wicker seat and the little side table is so cute. TV, which we haven't actually used yet. A little desk area. Hi. Look how tall the ceilings are as well, which is such a nice feature. And then we have me, full length mirror. That's a must in any hotel. Um, the vanity area. Double sink, how luxurious. And this has definitely inspired me to create a double sink once I buy a house in the very near future. Um, closet space. My awful, awful packing skills. I honestly don't know what I bought with me. Um, a bath. Isn't that such a dream bath? How beautiful. So this just steps down and then we have the outdoor shower honestly an outdoor shower makes so much sense it is so refreshing at first when i saw i had an outdoor shower i was a bit freaked out but even if it's raining it doesn't matter because you're wet from the shower so and you dry off so it just makes sense so my bikini today is from Face Swim. This bikini is maybe six, seven years old. And then just for when I have lunch or I'm just wandering around, I've just put this Mew Mew shirt over it. 
And that is my outfit for today. Now I'm just gonna put some bottoms on and then we're gonna have lunch. The food here is so authentic. It's my favorite jerk chicken, rice and peas. I've said it before in this vlog, I feel, but honestly, the obsession is real. And now Bash and I are just shooting some projects that we need to complete. And what a dream that we're able to do it by the sea. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my goodness. Music is love. It loves music. Look at him chilling like a villain. Bash, what are we like working on holiday? It doesn't stop. It does not stop, but we're very blessed. Hey guys, so today we are going water rafting and then the rafts are gonna take us to where locals cook. So then we're gonna get some authentic Caribbean food. I swear all I've spoken about on this vlog is food because I'm obsessed. Um, I'm really excited because I'm excited to see other parts of Jamaica and I know it's going to be so, so beautiful. Today I'm wearing a vintage Valentino two-piece from my runway archive. And this necklace, I forgot where it's from. And then just some random bead, beaded bracelets. So let's go water rafting. rafting which was really fun and it was just so nice to see the lake and the current was so strong so I couldn't get in the water because I'm not a very confident swimmer a lot of you didn't know that um I'm gonna do a really quick workout now and then we're gonna eat some dinner and then I'm going to bed because honestly exhausted after that good morning another day in paradise I didn't take off my makeup last night did you know leaving on your makeup overnight is equivalent to keeping it on for five days? I'm just going to do a workout with Bash and then we're going to sit in the sun all day and then we're going to have lunch and then we're going to sit in the sun all day and then we're going to have dinner and then we're going to go to bed. That has been my day every day and I'm loving it. So this is the pool area and then you can see the sea past it which is so nice. And this is where we work out. Now we are going to go and watch the sunset after a lovely long day tanning by the beach. And I'm in a rush because I didn't realize what time it was and I don't want to miss the sunset. So let's go real quick. 
Instagram I put up a little Q&A section on my stories that I said I would answer on here so I'm just gonna really quickly go through some questions that you guys had and I'm gonna answer as many as I can okay so someone asked favorite shows Handmaid's Tale is definitely one show that I'm always looking forward to an episode or a season coming out and I'm always gripped we have one episode left of The Last of Us and that is probably the best season series that has been released in my eyes in a very long time. So I'd say those are like my top two at the moment. What was your favorite moment of fashion month? I'd probably say the GCDS show and the C and Giuliano create such an amazing wearable collection which was just so different for him and I just like I was so proud of him and all my friends were there it was just such a laugh and outfit wise my favorite moment maybe it was from the Dior show because basically my outfit um they didn't have it in the end and then very very last minute they had to kind of like change what I was wearing and I was left with like a bit of a strange outfit but it worked so well in the end and I really think I styled it nicely and I just made it so cool and relaxed. So that was probably like quite, it was a little bit of a stressful moment, but it turned out to be like for a reason. What are your hopes, plans, progress that you have for the next five years? Mm, that's always such a hard question. I hope to still be working in social media because I genuinely love what I do and I love sharing content with you guys. I love taking pictures, I love styling, I love making YouTube videos. So I definitely wanna carry on with that. I hope to buy my dream house with Bash and maybe release some sort of product within the next five years, whether it be health related, fashion related, I don't know. We'll see what life brings. What got you so interested in fashion? Was it a particular designer or icon in the industry? I've always had like a like for clothes, even from when I was super, super young. I remember um, when I was in nursery, like, cause growing up, we didn't have like a lot of money and I didn't have like the newest outfits and newest pieces. So I remember being in nursery and I had a cup of water and I put the cup of water in my mouth like this and I drank it without my hands and all the water just went down me and that meant I could go to Lost Property and pick out a new top. So that really excited me. So I think the desire for new, nice, different pieces always stemmed from when I was so little. Um, I, I wouldn't say a particular designer or icon in industry, but I am inspired by so many people, so many designers, like a little bit of everything, because I wouldn't say I have like a particular style, so I'm inspired by everyone and everything around me. Advice on working for yourself and breaking through fear. That is a really, really tricky one. And it's a very, very brave move to make working for yourself, but it is the most rewarding and the most exciting thing that you can do. If you have like a particular interest, honestly, just nurture that interest. And I feel like you always know best. If you want to, let's say in fashion, if you want to work for yourself, start off by shadowing someone. Um, people always need help. So like just getting as much experience as you can, post it on social media and just get the word out there. Yes, it's scary, but honestly, everyone that I know that have gone from like corporate companies to freelance are always so much happier. What are your favorite boots? These ones at the moment. I'm, I'm sure I'll have another favorite pair a few weeks down the line, but these. How do you deal with the time and with all the things that you have to do? Is it difficult to be punctual? I have the biggest anxiety if I am late for something. Always be on time, if anything, early. There's nothing wrong with being early. If you're late, people can really see that as being unprofessional. Um, I always give myself like an hour in advance to travel somewhere. I always plan like 
I make sure I give myself an hour to get ready, an hour to get somewhere, and then I'm usually on time. What are your favorite heels that you own? These Jimmy Choo bad boys, and Jimmy Choo have my favorite heels. They're always so beautifully designed. I'm obsessed, and they always do amazing colors in every design. So these are my favorite ones at the moment. Who is your stylist? Me. And then I asked Bash for advice. How did you do a Rosie, Ella, and you meet? So Ella and I, we went to school together um, since year seven. So that's like the first year of high school. And then in the UK, we call that secondary school. And then Dua came mid secondary school. So then me and Ella, we found out there was a new girl in the school. So we went around the whole school to find Dua and we went up to her and we were like, oh my God, hi, nice to meet you. Let's be friends. So we stayed friends ever since. Then I met Rosie on a music video for Disclosure that we shot together and then I introduced her to all my friends and we all hung out and we all got along really well and we're still so close and we're all friends which is such a nice feeling. How did you and Bashir meet? We met the, at the club. In June it will be nine years since we've been together which is such a long time. Relationship advice. How did you meet your boyfriend and what did you learn from this relationship? So I just told you how I met him. I have learned to always trust. Trust is probably the most important aspect in a relationship because what is the point of being in a relationship if you're just constantly paranoid about that person, what they're doing, where they are? You have to let your partner be free, be with his friends, go on holiday without you. You have to have trust. That is key. So I really enjoyed answering those questions. If you guys have any more questions, please, please, send them through i love answering a question really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you for the next vlog in mumbai yes i will be going with dior to mumbai for their show so that is going to be an epic vlog because mumbai has definitely been a place on my bucket list to go to so i think it's going to be amazing as it's just somewhere so different and i haven't been before so yeah sending you all lots of love please like comment subscribe so that we can keep these videos going because i'm really enjoying them and it makes me so happy that you guys are watching bye